Hi, my name is Catherine Finnegan. Today I will be doing a video on how to get higher jumps. This will include just different exercises and tips you can try at home or at the studio and I hope it helps. The first exercise you can start off with are these little V jumps, I guess. I don't really know the name for them, but they pretty much look like this. You're gonna push, 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 push. Try to not really use your arms too much. The whole point of this is to really work about jumping straight up. So really pushing from your toes and jumping straight up. If you're getting across the floor um, with just like a couple, then you're jumping too far out. So think about jumping up. And then um, lastly, you just really want to think about stretching the knees on each one really tight. And so yeah, you'll just do that across the floor and that will be your first exercise. Okay, for the second exercise, again, it's just all about jumping straight up as high as you can and really pushing through your toes, except this one is going to jump to a passe, land, you're jumping from two feet, passe, land, you'll jump straight knees, land, and then you'll jump tuck knees, land. So it'll be a little faster and it'll go right away. You'll go passe, passe, straight knees, tuck. So it should look like this. Passe, passe, straight knees, tuck. Passe, passe, straight knees, tuck. Again, just jumping really high, trying to keep your arms under control, and that'll be your exercise number two. The next exercise, um, pretty much what it's working on is the leg that is going to push you up from your jump. So if you're doing a normal jump, you chasse, you plie, this leg takes off, so the jump is really coming from this leg. So this is gonna help strengthen that leg. You're going to go to um, just say knee down, a leg up, and then from there you're trying to jump and then land. Um, again, if you're jumping out, that's no good. Um, you really wanna try to, and it's kinda hard, you don't wanna stand and then jump. You really do wanna try to take it from the floor and then land. Um, so again, that's strengthening your last leg to push you off, and that is exercise number three. Okay, this next exercise is going to be, I would say probably more for like a beginner um, trying to learn a jump. A lot of the times I see uh, beginner dancers jump and their feet are pointing down to the floor. So we really want to think about getting them up and making sure that they're tight knees. So um, this exercise is pretty simple. You're just going to extend your leg, make sure you have a tight knee, a pointed toe. And then you just jump and kick back that back leg. That's really all it is. Do a couple of those. Straight knees, kick back, and that'll be um, your next exercise. Okay, for this next exercise, it is pretty specific to a certain kind of jump, which is a tilt jump, but I know it helps a ton when you use it, so you can go ahead and try this. Um, a lot of the times when I see a tilt jump, they whack this leg, but when they jump, the bottom leg remains pointing straight down to the floor. So with using a bar and doing a couple of these, you want to think jump and ping out that second leg. So I don't know if you can see the difference straight down to tilting it more out. Once you get the feel of doing it at the bar, then when you go to do it in the center, you know what you should expect um, with that bottom leg. The so last exercise you can try, which is definitely the hardest. I promise these are not going to look great unless you already have high jumps. Um, but if we're working on getting higher jumps, Trust me, it's okay, they're not gonna look great, just do your best. You're gonna go chasse, and you're gonna leap right step, leap left step, leap right step. So really only using that one step to get the next leap up um, does a really good job on strengthening the legs, and so when you go to do just the one leap, it'll help a lot. So now moving on to some really great tips I have for getting higher jumps. First one would definitely have to be training with ankle weight. So anything that I've already done, like those exercises I showed, let's say, you know, the passe ones, if you do them with ankle weights, you're just strengthening yourself even more. Um, you can also wear them just going across the floor, um, like in your dance classes. The more you get used to wearing heavier weight on your ankles and still trying to get those legs up, then when you go to take them off, it feels so much easier and you're able to really get those legs even higher than you would have um, with the ankle weights on. Next tip I have for getting higher jumps is definitely build up lots of energy in your prep. So that's for really any jump. If you're going into a regular jump, you don't want to go chasse, run, and have it feel sluggish. You want to get ready to jump into the air. So you want to go chasse, run, 
and then go up. The more energy you build up in the preps, the better. This can also go for a jump that comes from like a chene. So you wouldn't just take these chenes like casual. You really want to think and whip and whip. And then you would go into that jump. Um, that has helped me so much getting my jumps higher. So definitely try that. Next tip for higher jumps is definitely going to be really placing that first leg out to the height you're trying to get that jump at. So let's say calypsos, for example. If you're going to go down to extend the leg here, then you're not really setting yourself up to jump very high because that leg is already pointing down. Instead, you want to think down to extend the leg at a nice high spot. That way you're able to jump to where that leg was and then land. So really think about where that first leg is extending out to. So last and most important tip is gonna be jumping up and not out. This is gonna help you so, so much. If you go chasse and your plie is here, but you land your jump way over here, you're definitely jumping out. Your goal in a jump should be chasse, plie, and then really snap the jump straight up. If you're thinking about jumping up and not out, obviously that's going to take your height this way instead of all the way over this way. So definitely think about that. It'll probably help the most out of anything I've said today. All right, that concludes everything I have for higher jumps. If you like this video, leave a comment on what I should give exercises or tips on next. Make sure you subscribe for more videos and I'll see you soon.